Hey guys, this is part two of my video. I'm going to show you how to color Sailor Jupiter. All right, there's my line art. I'm going to put color just for a second so you guys can see. All right, there we go. I'm also going to make this back and I'm going to lift this up a bit so you guys can see exactly what I'm doing because uh, I watched my other video <laughs> to see where I could get uh, better so this is one of the things I want to be able to do so you guys can see what I'm doing I'm going to show you quickly how to base color her I'm not going to do anything special um, but I'm also going to make a second video um, showing like extra details that I throw in uh, so you guys want to go ahead and check that one out once it's done um, so for now we're going to start off with base coloring so I'm going to go ahead and lower the opacity just so that I can see what I'm doing which might want to flip this over real quick. Okay, that's better. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and merge this layer. So now that's my complete liner art that I have. I'm gonna make a layer under that liner art. You can go ahead and press this little button over here, sorry, this button right here. And that's gonna be your first color layer. If you wanna name your layers, you can, definitely. I um, I don't do it because I suck at it now, but I definitely recommend you do it so that you uh, keep track and that when you have a whole bunch of layers, you can easily find what you're looking for just by naming it. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and start off with her eyes. And when you start off with the eyes, you wanna go ahead and do the white part first. If not, once again, totally up to you. I'm not gonna line this part right here um, just cause when I make eyes, I like to make them glow. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So what you're going to want to do is here's her, here's the liner. You're going to go ahead and make a layer on top of that. And then you're going to go ahead and grab your brush tool, which is right here. You're going to go ahead and right click. You're going to find sharp one. And then you see this little diagram right here that allows you to change the shape of your brush. So I'm going to make an oval, see right there. And I'm going to turn it so that it's the same size as her eye. And then you're gonna make it a little bigger, bigger, and bigger until you see it overlapping that white spot right there. It's not gonna be the exact same shape. Obviously, this is more of a perfect oval, whereas the screenshot doesn't have that. It's more of a wobbly one. You're gonna wanna make it a little bit bigger until it covers, which honestly, that's a good shape. Um, and if you want, you just press down on this arrow and you can move it to shape it. Okay, so then after you're done getting that, you're gonna go ahead and go to the side, click wherever you want to get rid of that uh, little menu, and then you're just going to click. And there you go, it shows up. And then you're gonna go to the next side, and you're gonna have to adjust, obviously, to make sure that it fits, just because it's a different um, angle. So once again, and this one's more thinner, so we're gonna go ahead and go like that, which honestly, I think that's a pretty good size. I'll make it a little bit thinner. There we go. And then click, and there you go. So you can see where I shaped. Okay, and then once again, I'm gonna try and keep this simple, so I'm not gonna do any special details. I'm gonna save that for the next video. But I am gonna show you how to make her eyes glow, which is what I like to add to my characters. So you're going to double click on the layer that you just made those shapes. You're gonna go ahead and go to where it says outer glow right here. You're gonna highlight it or check box. You're gonna click on it and then it's gonna show you all of the adjustments. And then if you notice, she already has like a little glow on the eye. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna make that more um, present. She's gonna hike up the opacity all the way to 100. And then you're literally just gonna change the size of the glow around. So right now it's at seven, but I don't really feel like you can see it very well. So I'm gonna hike it up just a little bit. And I think, I think 11's a good amount because it's glowy, but not too glowy. You don't wanna make it look like, you know, ridiculous. So see, that's a good amount. So after you're done and you like the, um, the size of it, you're just gonna simply press okay. And there you go, it's done. She's got that nice glow. So after we're done with that, which she has these two here, and you wanna go ahead and do that as well. 
if you want to make them glow that's totally up to you I don't really think that's meant to be uh, well actually I would all right so to do that you're gonna have to go underneath the liner since that's underneath so literally you go back to your uh, first image right here you make that layer and I'm not gonna do the exact shaped shape <laughs> I'm going to adjust like I showed you before right click lower it and lower it and that looks good fix this there you go make a little bit bigger and there you go and then same thing for this one we're gonna make it a little bit smaller because it's at an angle there you go and then we're gonna go ahead and give it a glow but we're gonna give it a small glow because it's at the right at the corner or the edge of your liner so you don't want to make the glow too big because then obviously it's gonna trickle over in um, underneath your line and well that's not gonna make any sense so you're not gonna want to make it that big so we're gonna go like maybe seven is a good uh, amount because that way it won't go over your line but you can still see it so you're gonna go ahead and press ok it saved the settings for last so you don't have to worry about doing that again so now you have the glow on both of them and then now I'm gonna show you how to do the black part which is gonna be the same way I did this it's just all a matter of shaping your brush and then using it to your advantage so we're gonna go underneath the eye glow we're gonna put that extra layer we're gonna go ahead and switch the color so now it's on black and still the same brush you're just literally gonna turn it like I showed you last time we're gonna make it bigger and bigger and for this one you're gonna want to make it a little bit chubbier because it is her pupil I hope that's the right word and then we're gonna go like that see so perfect this one obviously looks like she's looking a little bit more directly at you because the shape is not you know turned but that's fine for me it looks fine I'm not gonna do some crazy shape and then you're gonna want to make it look a little bit thinner like I did last time and BAM there you go very very simple um, if you want you can blur this so it gives it uh, more of a depth or character um, if not you can leave it sharp like that I'm gonna show you real quick how to blur it and then I'll go back so what you want to blur you're gonna go ahead and keep it on that layer you're gonna go to filter you're gonna go all the way down to where it says blur you're gonna go to Gaussian blur and then it's gonna show you it's gonna have a setting already you can keep that setting which honestly that looks like a good setting you can hike it up or lower it so that looks like a good setting for me so if you want to keep it that way you just press ok and there you go voila it's blurred if you don't like it you decide it's not for you you're gonna go to your history you're gonna go up and there you go you're right back to sharp so you don't have to worry about doing anything crazy um, actually you know what I don't like my history and my layers being too separate so I'm gonna click on layers real quick try and get that it's own little oh there we go there we go all right sorry that bothers me okay so there you go there's the sharpness all right and then I'm gonna go ahead and continue to do the eye and it's just basic shapes so it's not really anything new that I need to show you so I'm gonna go ahead and work on that and then I will see you back when I start on her face okay and I finished up her eyes so this is what her eye looks like now with color in them I'm gonna go ahead and take this off so you can actually see my work and it's just simple base color and I put the gradient so I think it looks pretty okay and now I'm gonna show you how to do the back of the eye and once again you're gonna want to make that extra that new layer right underneath everything you just did and you're basically outlining it's the same way you started this vector when you just outline shapes so you're gonna outline the shape of the color and then you're just gonna fill it in okay and that's the first eye so like I told you before I literally just shaped the color I filled it in let me take this off so that you can actually see how simple that was and then you're gonna go ahead and do the same thing to the other eye ok 
Okay, and now I'm done with both eyes. There you go. You can see the difference. I'm gonna go ahead and now and work on her face which if you want to start with the lips you can I would highly recommend you do smaller details before you fill up the face whichever one works for you and we're gonna do the same thing we did last time so we're gonna make that extra layer underneath and actually what you would like to do if you want to make because she has that little shine right there I would go up to where you have your eye glow I would go ahead and grab a brush you're gonna go ahead and turn it so it kind of makes that little shape right there actually I'd make it a little smaller then you go like that make sure you're on white over here and BAM and just so that you can make the same shape if you want you can grab your smudge tool which is right here it looks like the little finger smudging something you can grab that and just make like a quick little swipe There you go. And that'll help to make shapes that you want. You can smudge it into your own little shape. If you want to add an extra few drops so it actually looks like a really nice glossy finish, you can do that as well. Just make your brush a little smaller. And then right underneath. You can do something like that. Once again, grab your smudge tool and you're just gonna smudge it slightly. Okay. and then you'll be able to see that once you're done filling it so you're gonna go back to your pen tool you're gonna go all the way down I believe that's my new layer yep and then you're gonna go ahead now and line her lip for this picture it doesn't really give you a nice vibrant color because she's in the dark um, so if you want to make her lips a little noticeable I don't know if that's a word but it's about to be I'm gonna go ahead and do fill path. I'm gonna grab the color, but then if you wanna make it just a little bit more, you can go just a little over to the side. Press okay, and now to colors right there. And, and now you can see that shine that you put on her lip. If you don't like the way it looks, once again, you can go right back up. Use the smudge tool, try and smudge it a little bit more so it looks a little bit more like that shape you saw see so, you don't have to worry about it not looking right and if you put a little too much you can just erase see? So, there you go. I want it to look a little too glossy you know you put too much gloss and then you can't get rid of it and then it runs down the side of your mouth hopefully that I'm not the only person that's happened to all right and then back up a bit and there you go once again, I'm not going to add any extra detail. I'm just showing you how to base color. And then after you're done with that, fixing up that glow, you're going to go right back, like I told you, right underneath everything. Make that extra layer. You're going to go ahead and line that upper part because she has like a nice dark tone up there to show the front of her lip. You're going to outline. And the great thing about once you have that base color in here, you can literally go over, you know? to make sure that you get that full coverage and you don't have to worry about it affecting it because once again, it's already up. See, so now it just goes underneath where you didn't have color and fixes it for you. So there you go. Now you've done her lips. I want to say real quick that depending on how you want to shade your work, um, you can really benefit from using the um, vector mask because it's single it singles out that shape that you've made and you can go ahead and do basically whatever you want with it. Um, I haven't done that with these shapes, so I'm just probably gonna do like other shapes inside of the shapes already and just put gradients on them. But um, if you don't wanna worry about uh, affecting the actual vector while you're trying to make, you know, coloring or things like that, then definitely you wanna make those vector masks for each of those shapes. And like I said, it'll single it out. And so what you're going to do is, let me show you right now real quick with this one. Same way I did the last time with the eyes. You're going to make the shape. You're going to close it up. You're going to right click. And then you're going to put create vector mask. And that's going to single that shape so that if you want to do anything inside that shape, it'll do it just inside that shape. 
If not, like I'm doing now, you're just going to press fill path and it's just going to fill it and you delete and you move on. And you color the normal way. Okay, so I finished up the color completely. So here is what she looks like with color. Um, the only thing I have to finish up is just her jewel, but that's literally going to take me just a few moments. So let me go ahead and do that real quick, just to show you. Go ahead and take off that color. Oh, there we are. And erase. Little trouble erase. And there we go. Let's start to see that color. All right. Do that under layer like I showed you before. All right, and there you go. That's the complete coloring of Jupiter. Um, it's not very exciting, <laughs> uh, but that's okay, because I'm gonna go ahead and add special details in a next video that I'm gonna do. It's not gonna be super, super um, you know, detailed, but I just wanna show some of the different ways that you can add extra shading, um, talk about gradients, and doing some extra highlights. And um, I want to go ahead and show you how to do backgrounds as well. So I'm going to go ahead and incorporate the background into the uh, second video as well. But yeah, so here's the full paint of it. Um, if you like the video, go ahead and like it. If you didn't like it, go ahead and put thumbs down. Remember to subscribe to my page. Um, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the questions or comment box. Um, I'm going to go ahead and have all my social media that you can contact me on I am in my description. And uh, yeah, hopefully I'll see you for the next one. So thank you very much for watching and have a great day. Bye.